What's good, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about something truly, truly special, which is my new trader indicator, La Algo. This is the culmination of everything I've learned throughout my trading journey, all packed into one powerful tool. I built this algorithm to help you make smarter, more profitable trades with features designed to catch solid trends and optimize entries and exits. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Fly Algo can be a game changer. Let's get into how it works and what makes it a powerful asset for your trading toolbox. I want you all to understand that trading is very hard. I do not care what anybody says. A lot of people will make money in the market, get into that bag where they throw the humbleness out the window and they get to talking about trading is easy. Well, it's not. And over the years, I've tried different things to help people because I truly feel like that's my purpose in life. When I got into trading and I started to make money and I was seeing others struggle, you know, I started to go down that road of figuring out how I can help people in a major way which led me to start my Discord and things of that nature. But what I learned with starting a Discord and having trade alerts and, and calling out signals and things, it was always somebody that was going to take an L or it was just somebody that was never going to develop the confidence that they needed to really succeed in the market. Because you can be the best person calling out trades that you can be, but some people just don't have the confidence or the know-how to execute. And the thing is, you want to get people to the level where they're learning to fish on their own and they can find trades on their own. Because if they can't learn how to find their own trades or execute with confidence, then they're never going to be profitable, which is the most important thing in this market. So over the years, I was just thinking to myself, man, how can I help this training group and calling out alerts? Some people making money, some people not. And I wasn't satisfied. And then I got into talking to other developers and then I started telling them how I trade. And they was telling me, man, look, we can put all of your ideas into a trading indicator where people can see what you see and they can execute. So this journey started in 2023 when y'all first saw me launch Flyzilla. And then I launched the big three indicator. And all of these different ideas I have for, you know, trading strategy that I showed you that was making me money. And I was putting these ideas into trading indicators. But when I was putting them into trading indicators, you know, some of the things wasn't completely organized as far as the menu and how it's put together. So, you know, it took me time. It took me a lot of trial and error. It took me working with different developers and all that I kept doing was taking the best features from each indicator that I designed and moving it over and just continue to perfect it. So this thing started a year ago and I finally got to a point where I worked with the most recent developer and he put it all together for me, you know, everything. Because the biggest thing for me and I told him, I was like, man, I want to make sure people are on point with their entries. And I need you to code this the right way where we're eliminating FOMO. We're eliminating you getting into trades early because it's plenty of trading indicators out there that got buy and sell signals. But this is deeper, y'all. And I want y'all to understand that. So we're going to get into the first feature, which is the buy and sell signals. These aren't just ordinary buy and sell signals where people are coding different indicators where they're doing this off of moving averages levels and you know VWAP levels and things of that nature these signals are coming from full time frame continuity so you're catching price action in real time and it's giving you signals when to take advantage of it let's talk about this week for instance so we got SPA right as y'all know SPA took a dump this weekend and recovered and that dump that SPA took, whoever was on the right side of that dump on SPA made a lot of money because SPA has been absolutely ripping things up for weeks. You can see I'm on a weekly time frame, right? So let's start there. 
let's start with the beginning of this story. So most of the time, you know, I see in different comments, whether I'm on stock twist, whether I'm in the discord, whether I'm just on social media, when something runs or something dumps, traders are always trying to catch the reversal and they end up getting cooked because they are very early to it. And they're trying to get in there and make some money and it's not time, right? So if we take a look at SPY and we go all the way back to the week of September 9th, as you can see, this signal, it came out as soon as SPY went green on the week, right? So that's when it reached full time frame continuity. So if you have fly algo right now, the sense that I have for you is going to give you a signal as far as full time continuity when it gets to the 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, daily and week. As soon as those intervals align, that's when it's going to give you a signal, whether it's going to be a buy or whether it's going to be a sell. So if we're looking at SPY right now, the week of September 9th. This signal went out when SPY hit $544.65. SPY ended up hitting a high that week of $563.03. Like I told y'all before, these signals aren't repainted. So I can literally tell you when the signal went out because it's only going to go out when it gets full time frame continuity based on the sentence that you have. But like I said, I already have the default sentence in there to give you a nice signal. But this went out at $544.65 and went all the way to $563.03, right? And then the following week, that continued. So we got a two up on a week and we went crazy for six weeks straight. And all that you would have seen is this buy signal. This buy signal telling you, all right, it's still in a nice trend and you're going, right? So most traders are going to try to catch that reversal but it's clearly telling you and it's showing you that it is not time for you to try to catch a reversal, which leads us to this week, right? So on this week, all that you had to do for SPY, if you were just trying to catch a reversal and say, you know what? SPY is getting overbought. I'm trying to catch the other side. All that you would have had to do on SPY is right click, click add an alert, click price, You'll see fly algo right here and you will see the alerts, right? So all you would have had to do is click the sell alert, add it, and then it would have been in your alerts right here. So, you know, as you can see, I got T2 set up because I'm waiting on it, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but I got spot right here on the one week. And basically all that it did soon as spot lined up on full time frame continuity, and it flipped at $583.85. That's when SPY dumped. We ended up hitting a week low of $574.42. And you would have been able to make your money that day. And you would have been able to catch that sales signal. And you would have been able to take full advantage of that price movement. So that is how the alerts work, y'all. You know, it's simple as that. It's not hard at all. It's going to give you alerts based off of price action. When it's time to get in, you're going to get in. Now, I want to explain something to y'all because a lot of people have been asking me, what time frame should I be on, right? Now, I'm going to tell y'all, it's a big difference between the two. Now, you got regular candles and you got Heikinashi candles. And a lot of y'all have heard me speak about Heikinashi candles before. And I want y'all to understand something about Heikinashi candles. The reason why Heikinashi candles is going to take you to a whole new level if you're looking for swings, it's because it's a trend-based candle, right? And regular candles, if you're looking for day trades or intraday trades, I advise you to stay on those. So let's go on a daily, right? So let's just say we're on a daily. If we're on a daily and you're trying to catch a move and you're trying to catch a day trade, an intraday trade, you can set it up on here. But I'm going to tell you about the daily. It's going to be different things that happen. So... If we're looking right here on Monday on the 21st, that's when it gave us that sell signal when it first went full time frame on the daily, right? And it gave us a sell signal to get in there. But the thing about a daily is, you know, things can turn around for you. So as you can see, we got the signal at 583.85. On this day, we went to 580. It bounced back up and we closed, right? 
So if you're on a daily, you know, you want to take advantage of that move. Like you want to be able to catch a day trade. Now that would have been a great day trade, catching that move, almost a $4 move down. You would have been able to catch that and take full advantage of that. But as you can see, you know, price bounce back up. So I want you to keep that in mind. You know, if you catch something on regular time frame, you want to keep day trades in mind or intraday trades. Can it continue to go? Sure. But sometimes you're going to go through different things when it comes to the wings. You're going to go through different price action where it can bounce on you. It can come back up. So if we go to the next day. The reason why this is grayed out, because basically it's telling you that this is not a valid move to the upside. It's not giving you a signal telling you, all right, get into this. You know, this is going to be a great move because most people would get into this on this candle, which would have been a great little day trade. But the very next day you dump, right? And you don't want to get caught in that. So if you're seeing a candle is invalid, and that's a part of the indicator as well. If you're seeing a candle is invalid, you can take a quick move if you see something on your end and you want to take advantage of a quick day trade or a scalp. But just know it can turn around on you. It's telling you it's invalid. So it's going to tell you it's grayed out. And the very next day, it continued that trend from that sale, right? And it continued down. But I want to show y'all something with all of this stuff. Because if we go to Friday, as you can see, price had ended up bouncing up and ended up selling off at the end of the day. But nine times out of 10, tomorrow is going to be bullish. We'll see. But I want y'all to keep that in mind when I show y'all this next thing on these hiking options. So if we're looking at these hiking options, it's going to give you a clear trend, right? And it's going to show you a bullish trend. This trend line is automated. So it's going to show you an automated trend line and show you where we are with things to basically keep your sentiment in mind. So if you're getting super bearish, it might not be the time, you know, because you already know, man, we testing this trend line, but it can go back above and get above this trend line and the trend can continue up strong. You got to also remember we got earnings this week. So depending on that, that would tell us if this trend is going to continue or not. But the Heiken Ashi candles are going to show you where the trend is, right? And it's going to give you stronger signals. So I want you all to understand that. So when you're looking for a trend and you're looking for a swing, which we all want to catch swings, man. We want to be in them trades catching 200, 300, 500, 1,000 percent. We want to be able to catch those. But you want to look at them hiking ashes when you're setting alerts for those. So it's the same thing. If you're trying to set an alert, all you have to do is right click, go to add alert, go to price under condition, click fly algo, and you'll see buy and sell. So if you're looking for the flip, you go ahead and put that sell alert. So if you don't see that on the hiking ashes, it's not time. You want to catch it as soon as it flips. If it haven't flipped yet, just wait. You know, you don't want to get caught in that trend. Just wait. It's plenty of tickers out there. You can set this for as many tickers as you want to. It's plenty of tickers out there. So you can set this alert, you know, for hundreds if you want to. You know, you just go down your watch list and you can start setting alerts for all of those tickers. As soon as one comes in, and you do your analysis and it looks right to you, you take that trade. Now, it's a little secret I want to tell y'all about hiking options. Y'all going to get this from your boy. Y'all see these candles down here that have no wick? These are strong candles. These are bullish candles. When you see those, nine times out of ten, price action is going to be bullish. Before you get those, you're going to catch doji. Sometimes... You're going to see bullish or bearish candles without getting that doji at first and getting that indecision. But after that, you're going to see a strong move, whether it's to the upside or downside on no wick candles on the hike and ashes. So when you see in that and you see in a signal off of that, you already know it's go time. You already know that. You already see where this hike and ashi move went before it even got to sell. You know, you already see where we went. That was a strong move. So if you see that on the daily and it's no wick, then you already know what it is. And the same thing on the sale. If you see a no wick on the sale then, and you trying to catch a reversal, don't. Do not do that. 
Do not try to trade against them hikings when you see a strong candidate. Please don't. I promise you, you will get cooked. Another candle that you don't want to get in on hikings is these dojis. These dojis on hiking ashis, you do not want to be in. You will get cooked if you're in a doji and it goes the wrong way out of your favor. You will get cooked. So you want to stay away from them dojis and you do not want to trade against no wick candles when it comes to the hiking ashis. But if you see a signal and it has a no wick, then you already know what it is. Okay. It may be go time for me because if that next day hit and you got no wick on the second day, nine times out of 10, it's going to go. It's going to go, as y'all can see. And I'll give y'all plenty of examples of that. Trust me, you will see it. But setting up the alert is the same thing. Right click, add an alert, go to fly algo, buy and sell. You set that, you're good to go. Now, we're going to get into another feature, y'all. Another feature that's going to tell you if a trade is ready to go or not is the ATR levels. So as you can see, if you're OG to this, then you know this started off on Flyzilla, right? And I incorporated it into Fly Algo, so we got everything into one. So everybody that loved Flyzilla, just know, man, it's here too, man. It, is, it haven't went nowhere. I just took the best features from all of the indicators and I put it all into one. So on the ATR levels, this is basically giving you the average true range. It's telling you in the last two weeks how price has been moving on a particular ticker. So the reason why this is going to help you is because a lot of my options traders out there, Y'all be going way out the money because you're trying to get those contracts for cheaper. And I get it. You know, a lot of those hit and you got a crazy percentage. But as you know, theta will kick your butt on them contracts. And sometimes most people just don't know how to pick a contract, right? They don't know where price is going to go. And this is going to tell you. Spy has been moving about $5.31 a day. It's giving you the week open, which is $576.89. And one thing I want y'all to understand, if you're above the week open, you want to think with a bullish mentality when you first get over that. So that's a level at the beginning of the week that you want to look at. If you're above that, you want to have a bullish mentality, but you want to catch that move as soon as. And if you're below that, then the same thing. You want to have a bearish mindset, right? But $576.89 was the week open. And then we got the long, you know, at 580.49. Basically, what it's telling you is if we get above $580.49, which we did Friday before selling off, it, you can go there, you can hover over it, and it's going to tell you where you can take your profit. Because basically, it's explaining to you based upon the ATR levels, it's went full ATR. This is where you're going to be catching some resistance. And this is fully on point. We're live right now. So it's no cap. $580.49 is telling you, based upon the ATR, SPY can go to $584.55. And if we look at the high of SPY on Friday, that was at $584.46. So you would have known, A, if you were in a swing or you caught it that morning, hey, I need to be taking my profit here. Or B, if SPA was already at $584, then you do not need to be getting this SPA right there because you already know, man, this thing has went full ATR on the day. So you let me know how many of y'all have been in trades where you're like, man, this is ripping right now. I'm about to just get in there. And as soon as you get in that trade, it turn around on you and cook you. You know, I know it's plenty of y'all that have got smoked that way. I know it's plenty of y'all. So I want y'all to understand that. Look at those ATR levels to see where you are on the day. Now, another dope thing about it is you can actually go in your settings. You can scroll down to the ATR settings and you can change it to multi-day. So let's say you caught an entry 
on spa, right? Let's say you call an entry on spa. And you're like, all right, man, I caught an entry on a day. I want to see where this can continue to go. You can look at a longer period of time on SPY. So it'll give you more days that you can see. All right, if it hit 587, you know, I can start to push to 598. You know, so if that would have happened and we would have continued bullish and we pushed past 587, then you would have had another set of levels that you can look at. But what you want to do is you want to start on that daily before you get to that multi-day. You know, that multi-day is going to get you set up if you're already straight on the daily. But as far as SPY, you know, we hit that 580 and we went full ATR and we ended up coming back down, but we didn't get below 577.99. So if you were to scout the downside and you just so happened to catch that move to the downside on Friday, cool but you know you didn't trigger on the short which was 577.99 and come down so whoever swung spy into next week nine times out of ten you might mess around and get cooked i ain't even gonna lie to you but if you got them hikings on then you will have saw man we are in a bullish trend so if i caught puts right here i need to be taking my profit and right now on Robinhood, on overnight trading, SPY is at $582.14. And like I told y'all, this is in real time. So if you was on them hikings on a daily, then you would have known. I do not need to be swinging puts because we are in the uptrend that I can clearly see. You can clearly see it. Until you get that sale on spot to the downside on them hikings, let this uptrend play out. But that's the beautiful thing about Fly Algo. I'm taking out the guesswork for y'all. You feel me? And these are just two features. So let's get into another scalp strategy. Because we already shown that we got the buy and sell signals based upon full-time frame continuity. Right? So we're going fully all price action when to get in right i've already shown y'all we got atr levels so it's going to give you confirmation on your entries it's going to tell you all right man i need to be in right here because let's even look at spot right so for tomorrow we close at 57904 right as of this week as of friday that closed after coming back down the long was at $580.49. So if in the morning we open up bullish, which we are bullish right now, and I've told y'all we're at 583, then you already know based upon the ATR, we can go to 584.55. You know, and if we looked at that multi-day, it had another level at 587. I would not be surprised if we push. We got earnings this week. We got the big dogs this week. Right? We got a lot of those big dogs this week. You know? We got Google on Tuesday. We got Meta. We got a lot of big dogs, and we can go through those. So make sure y'all tap in. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed to Fly Algo, hit the link in my description right now. Get you a free trial right now so you can see the power of it. It's risk-free. This week, you can check it out, and you let me know. If it ain't it, you ain't rocking with it. It's risk-free. You can go. But I'm telling you, you're going to keep it in the toolbox. You know, the dope thing about it, it was so many people that used. But let's get into another feature, y'all. Let's go to the 15-minute. I want to talk to y'all about the opening range breakout. The opening range breakout, a.k.a. the orb, is going to be based upon the first 15 minutes of market open, right? So on the orb, this is what I want y'all to understand with the orb. Cause you said, all right, man, we got some invalid candles and then it gave a buy right here and we ended up selling off. You know, I don't want y'all to get caught into the signals when it comes to the orb. Now this would have been a great move down, but you can catch these moves without the signals. When it comes to the orb, I want y'all to take the signals out of y'all mind. Because the orb is not based upon that. It's not 
linked to the signals at all. This is what I want y'all to understand about the org. If you see price break above this range, you can scalp a bullish move. If you see price within this range, just wait, because it can be a lot of indecision, consolidation, you know, and you can get trapped in this range and it never breaks out. But if it breaks below this range, you know, that's when you take advantage of puts, right? So that's what I gave you the opening range breakout for so you can catch quicker moves. So if you're not trying to stay in a day trade or you're not trying to catch a swing and you're just looking to catch a move at the beginning of the trading day or throughout the trading day, because most times you will see, you know, price just basing this range throughout the day and then it finally breaks out to the upside or it breaks down to the downside. You just go to the 15 minute and you look and see where that opening range is and you take advantage of the breakout move either to the upside or to the downside. And nine times out of 10, you're going to get a nice move. And if you're looking at this, I'm going to tell you exactly what you see as clear as day, right? With the opening range, we had a gap up on Friday. And you see this gap, right? This is one of the features that's in Fly Algo. It's giving you a gap right here. And it's showing you, all right, we got a gap. Most of the time on SPY, you're going to quickly see gaps get filled, Right? This is already showing you where price can go, right? So it's telling you, all right, man, we gapped up to the upside, but nine times out of 10, if this gap get filled down here, I'm looking for price to get back to the bottom of that opening range because you already know, based upon looking at the hikings on the daily, we are in an uptrend, right? So nine times out of 10, this bearish move is not going to last. So we can get back here to 581. All right, if that would have happened, all right, we back in range, and we can break out to the upside, right? Because that gap got filled. Gaps have to get filled, right? So that's what have happened. I've seen that happen plenty of times, and it's one of the features that I added in here. All of this stuff is a culmination of everything I've seen in this market over the years. I've been telling you I've been working on this indicator for a year now. I'm looking at all sides. And things that I put into the indicator, I said, ah, that may get somebody cooked. Let me take that out. That ain't it. That ain't the strategy. But as I built this indicator, I put my real money behind it. I put my real money into my trades to figure out if my strategies was fully on point. So anytime y'all have seen me make 10, 20,000 or more, then you already know, man, it's my real money I put behind it. But y'all know that. Very transparent with everything that I do. I don't put my money into these developers, finding the right people, making sure I have the people that's on point. Right? So I want y'all to understand that. I'm giving y'all the game, man. I hope y'all pay attention. Rita, shout out to Rita. Shout out to Rita. You know. Shout out to my boy B-Tech. You know. Everybody that's tapped in, man. I see a lot of my people that's in the group, man, that really rock with what we doing. And I appreciate y'all for all the support, for real, man. I don't take it lightly. Jay Francis said, them hiking action candle averages are beautiful. I'm trying to tell them. Giving you the game, man. Giving you the game. My boy Starboy say, what if I were to just trade tickers I like? Can I just watch and wait for the signal? I mean, if you want to wait, cool. But you don't have to. Why would you sit there at the charts when you got things you could be doing in life? You don't have to just wait, right? So let's just say, let's go to AMD, y'all. Let's go to the daily or AMD. Oh, let's go to the, let's see what we've been looking like. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Because y'all see it in real time. First of all, oh, yeah. These support levels, these support levels are given to you. They're automated, right? So as you can see, we caught a buy off the support level. We pushed up. We came back down back to this support level. Caught support again. Caught another buy and a beautiful move on AMD. But we're on the daily. And what did I tell y'all? If you set that signal for the daily, hey, and you see that thing got a sale, hey, that's when you can switch hats, right? You can just set an alert on the daily. Right click, go to conditions, press fly algo, 
and you got a buy alert right there on the hikings because it's telling me right here it's grayed out it's not all the way sure it's game time yet you don't got that full time frank cotton with it yet you need it on a week now it's all out of 10 and amd is bullish tomorrow you will see that but another thing I want y'all to keep in mind, it is Monday. So if it's bullish tomorrow, the daily and the weekly are going to be aligned, right? What you can do to get full confidence in your trade, you can just wait to Tuesday and wait to Wednesday to see if your swing is going to be on point because you want to make sure that daily and that weekly is aligned. And like I said, that's automatically going to be aligned nine times out of 10 on a Monday. And things can change throughout the week. So I just want y'all to keep that in mind. But you do not have to just sit there and watch AMD. You set your alert. It's going to give you an alert when you got full-time frame continuity. So you're going to know when to get in there. So you can switch full-time frame to whatever you want to switch it to. So if you want to switch it to give me a signal on a week in a month. When things are aligned on a week in a month, it's going to give you a signal. As far as the week in the month, if we look in the week, oh my gosh. This is why AMD made the move that it made. Because we was aligned on bigger time frames, you know? So we got a bigger move on the higher time frames. We got that sale at 163.16, right? And we ended up going as low as 150.52. So when you said, all right, the week in the month are aligned, you're going to get a bigger move. The higher you go out on time frames, if you setting that up for yourself, the longer your swing is going to be when you get that signal if you catch the right move. And before I go, I want to tell y'all, we have a huge opportunity because I'm trying to take the algo to the next level. I'm trying to really make a splash in the trading community, right? But I need y'all support. So I need y'all to go get that algo because... If we do the numbers that we need to do on this algo, then I will be invited to walk and I can showcase the algo and I can showcase the trading community. So I'm going to need y'all to support that. Check it out. It's risk-free. Seven-day trial. That's why I stand on it. I didn't put it out and just say, look, man, y'all got to pay to see. Nah, go see it. I stand on it. I already know what it is once you got it in your toolbox and you can understand what you're saying and I'm dropping these videos and this content, I already know what it is. I already know you're going to take full advantage of it. So just get it, man. Get it. Support Fly Algo. Support Fly Capital. Support your boy Rico. Man, let's take this thing to the top, man. I'm tired of playing in these trading streets. I'm tired of playing. I'm trying to take everybody to the next level. You got to meet me halfway. I'm giving you the game, and you got access to chop it up with me. So let's chop it up, and let's do this thing. I appreciate everybody that supported thus far, everybody that supported Fly Capital, everybody that supported Fly Algo, everybody that subscribed to the YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. Wherever you're watching this, I appreciate you because y'all don't have to rock with me. Y'all don't have to support me. And I don't take that lightly. 